All right, welcome back. Um, we're going to learn how to make worry stones in this post or in this video. I'm already starting to roll our leftover clay from the last video into just tiny little balls. I think we may even only need half of this. Tear that off. All right. Yeah, the the worry stones are much smaller, so you don't need nearly as much clay. I'm using maybe a fourth of it. But much much smaller than uh, the coaster needed. Another one. I think we'll leave gray out this time. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the yellow off because I feel like there's just a lot of it. See, so that was like a half half of a brick, so I'm just taking a little corner off of it. <clears throat> it's maybe even too much, but we'll see. All right, so this is the same technique as the coasters. Um, I'm gonna snake them out next. These guys are gonna be much smaller than the coaster, so really that's all you need. You're gonna lay them out next to each other just like the coaster. Here's the oven. Lastly, the yellow. I keep spacing out, I apologize. I have not had my coffee yet. All right, let's be a little bit bigger. Okay, so same process as the other one. I'm gonna squeeze these together kind of, and I'm gonna start slowly rolling them into one snake. I'm gonna go ahead and twist this one first and then I'm gonna wind it up. Twist a little bit, and I'm gonna go into a ball, or a circle, I mean, just like that. And I'm gonna try and roll it out into a snake one more time. This one's gonna look pretty cool, I think. So this one we'll go ahead and roll up and I think I'm gonna go ahead and start.
Oh, this one looks pretty cool. So then we're gonna pancake this one just a little bit, but not too much because we wanna be able to put our thumb into it and make that indent ourselves. Um, so I am gonna get my notebook back out. kind of press it down a little bit. It does tend to stick a little bit, but it comes off nice and easy. So now we just have this nice little cute circle that we're gonna just, we wanna kind of mold it into an oval. So I'm just gonna kind of pinch the sides together to get it to be that shape that I want it to be. And then once you've got that good oval shape, you're just going to print, push your thumb down into it. Not, not super heavily, but just enough so that you can kind of shape the clay to your thumbprint. And I like to roll my thumb around to kind of smooth out the edges so that you have a nice smooth surface when it's all done and you're able to um, rub it more evenly instead of having to have those like rough ridges to rub against, um, but I'm just kind of flattening it out with my, my fingers right now, kind of getting it to that shape that I want it to be. You can also kind of use your thumb to smooth out the, uh, your, the lines from your fingerprints on your thumb. So I just kind of stroke the middle here. Um, but then I'm going to go back and kind of place my thumb in one more time, get a nice, good, good shape. And then just kind of smooth it out where I want it to smooth out. Roll my thumb around to smooth the edges out. And then what you've le you're left with is a nice, cool little uh, worry stone that can help keep you calm during these crazy times that we find ourselves living in. Um, so anyways, yeah, you just put that in the oven with the coaster over here and for about 30 minutes, definitely keep an eye on it, but no more than 30 minutes at, I believe it was 225. Let me triple track. Oh, 275, 275. Um, but yeah, this stuff is really great and you can do lots of stuff with it and you can find it at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, and I'll include some Amazon links below on my post. But thanks for joining me again, you guys. And I hope this helps give you some ideas as to what you can do at home over the next couple of days. Hang in there.